So what is pleasure? Why do why does man cling to pleasure, pursue pleasure? From time immemorial, pleasure has been one of the principles that man has pursued in the name of God, in the name of peace, in the name of ten different ways. What is pleasure? Why this insistence on pleasure, both externally and inwardly? Is pleasure a memory? A remembrance of something in the past which gave you a delight. At the moment of perception, the delight, and then the remembrance of it, and pursuing the remembrance, not the fact. That is, pleasure, is it a remembrance? Pleasure as a future, is there a pleasure in the future, which is hope, and so on? So, please examine, let's look together, this factor that human beings have been pursuing for thousands of years, in the name of God, in the name of nation, every form of pleasure. Why have we pursued pleasure? Always avoiding fear and pursuing this. Or are they both related to each other? What is pleasure? You look at a sunset with all the glory of a sunset, the beauty of it, the radiance, the extraordinary light on the clouds. At that moment, you have forgotten yourself and you are looking at this sunset. It is recorded, the delight, and you pursue the record, not the actuality of the sunset. Right? This is what happens. You may have had sexual pleasure, then the remembrance of it, and the pursuit of it, or different forms of of pleasure, you know, I won't go into all that. It's fairly simple. So is pleasure a remembrance? So is pleasure a thought? So is pleasure time? Of course it is. So thought time is the movement of fear as well as pleasure. I wish you would see this. Not from me. See it for yourself. You see the extraordinary reality of it. That thought and pleasure, time, have been the factors of pleasure, pain, and fear. And is love, thought, and time? Before now we have associated love with pleasure, with all the problems involved in it – jealousy, anxiety, possessiveness, dependency, all that. So one has to understand, go into this whole question of what is love. One can go into it verbally, but that's the word is not the fact, the feeling, the depth of it, the beauty of it, the vitality of it. So, if love is not desire, 
right? And is not pleasure, then what is it? Does it come into being only when the self is not? Self is time and thought. I want to keep following all this. Me is time and thought. And as long as that exists, the other cannot possibly exist. Love cannot exist with selfishness. Selfishness makes take different forms, cover it all up and with kid gloves and roseate colour, but it's still selfishness. That is the me and the you. As long as that element exists in one's heart, obviously the other cannot exist. You may talk about the love of God, love of Jesus, love of Buddha and so on, but that's all empty words. Is love the awakening of the whole of the brain? You understand? We have been carefully going into this. That is, we started out with relationship, various forms of hurts, the image of about oneself, and that image gets hurt flattered, and so relationship always remains separate, two railway lines never meeting. And fear is time thought as pleasure. Is love time thought a remembrance? And time thought is this is has put together the whole structure of myself psychologically as well as genetically. And where that structure as the self exists, love cannot possibly exist. Obviously. 